BIM Level 2 hasn't reached a tipping point just yet. We're getting there. Construction manager, Blue Beam and BIM Plus came together with a whole host of people from the sector. There's been a mandate from the UK government that all public sector projects uh, should be using BIM as part of the procurement, the design and the construction process. So today we were able to have a really good conversation about BIM adoption in the UK, uh, some of the barriers that we're facing, some of the cultural issues around it uh, and how to resolve some of those. We're just starting to scratch the surface now. We, people are starting to get educated in how digital construction, how BIM can be delivered in this industry. The science behind BIM, I think we've got that nailed. The framework is there. The bigger task we have in front of us is upskilling the, the 2.9 million people in the UK and the some 750 million people in AEC around the world to get them working in a better, digitally enabled, more collaborative way. So we need to embrace it, but we need to choose the right technology for us, the right technology to deliver efficiency uh, to our people, to our customers and to our supply chain. These digital tools are coming into the, the wider world that we all live in, so it's not surprising we've seen those come into the industry. Uh, and over time they are gradually changing the culture, they're making us more collaborative, they're making the world a smaller place, they're making sharing information and finding that information and backing it up easier. When culture and technology become one, that's when we are in a position to actually be able to deliver the promise of Level 2 BIM. I think the biggest takeaway that I have from today is the need to share knowledge across the industry. That is always beneficial because there is nothing worse than only seeing your own viewpoint. We realise we've all got similar problems and we're all looking for a similar solution. I hope that we could do this again because it, it does show um, the different development levels and the different uh, strategies that different companies have. There are differences and nuances between us and, and maybe we'll never, never share that. Um, connection of, of standardisation, or maybe we should embrace the diversion that it creates. Knowing that the next next mandate level is going to be something like 2020, uh, level three, I think that gives people hope in knowing that there will be time to change, evolve, it'll impact some lessons learned, what could be improved in the process. We've still got a lot of confusion, a lot of things to solve, but you could see that as an opportunity for people to step up and actually make an impact and make a real difference. As a technology provider, one of the most important things we can do is listen. Using a forum like this to have a roundtable discussion with similar yet different perspectives from the industry, talking through what their challenges are, gives us a tremendous opportunity to gather intel and to really understand what it is that they're trying to solve to ensure that we can partner with them to help them solve those challenges.